everyone. I want to present a message to you that uh, changed my life and I know will change your life also. If you can get the meaning, the vibration, the feeling behind the words I'm about to say, I guarantee you it will completely change your life. Now as I read it to you, you'll probably think it's funny because it's so simple. You'll think, well I know that. Uh, but let me go a little deeper and I'm going to do these teachings in uh, just a few short segments so um, please stay with me through this first one at least to the end and um, and give me a chance to explain this because as you first hear this I don't want you to shut me out because uh, there's a lot behind the words what it is is good is good bad is bad and I, I know you're thinking duh I know that um, but uh, the meaning behind that has gotten lost. Um, there's a saying that how uh, soon the priests become enemies of the prophets because they change the original message of the prophet to uh, feed to the masses. And uh, as other communities come together and uh, merge, they'll take bits and pieces of the different religions and, and put them together so that everyone can live harmoniously and uh, living harmoniously is good but the problem is when you mix uh, or attempt to mix because it's actually impossible which I'll get into but good and evil uh, the two cannot combine and uh, that's why I'm taking you back to the original monotheistic religion Zoroastrianism um, it's what Judaism, Islam, Christianity all branched off of and sometimes you have to go back to the original to see the uh, pure intent of it and the one thing that Zarathustra uh, his main message was that God is good. As a matter of fact the the name good and God were intertwined. You could use one or the other. Uh, so which might make you think in your day-to-day -day life when you call something good you're calling it God and is that really God? Is that really good? Um, and so uh, what has happened is uh, People have taken uh, God and, and uh, gave him attributes that are not his. For instance, um, killing, war, making him out as a, a God of war. Um, just things that are impossible for the highest principle of good. Cannot be jealous, cannot repent for something he did. Uh, cannot, uh, you know... You know what I'm talking about. You've heard the stories. And um, it, it brings confusion. And uh, it's kind of what brought on this video was a good friend of mine. Uh, he said something along the lines of, I guess we'll never know till we get to heaven. But the truth is you can know. Uh, God is speaking all the time. You just have to tune in uh, to his voice, to that vibration. I have a prophetic gift. And um, I always felt a special sense as a kid. I can hear clearly from God. I can see the future. Um, I know things before they happen. Uh, but as I'm finding, that is a natural thing. That is something even you or anybody can tap into because we're all made by the same Creator, by the same God. And He's put in us an innate knowing uh, of Him, of truth, of life, of love. And uh, we can tune in to his voice anytime. He, he's so close, you know, really, we're always looking out for him. He's in us. That divine spark, that good mind is inside of us, and it's inside of you, and you know it. And uh, I don't want to get off under my rant on priest, uh, but you've been taught that you have to go outside of yourself. You do not have to go outside of yourself. You can look within and you will see God and you can live a beautiful, a perfect life the way he created it, which the Zoroastrians call Asha, truth, the highest truth, heaven on earth, if you will. And that's what we were designed to live in. And that's why you're never uncomfortable, or you're never comfortable uh, living in sin, living in error, living in sickness, living in poverty, living in lack. You, you can never get comfortable there because you are a child of God. And instinctively, you know that there's more for you. When you get sick, it's an injustice to you. It does not feel right to you as a child of the king. And uh, when people... Uh, enslave you or try to take away your power or um, it's something just rises up in you. No, that's not who I am. And so I want to share with you uh, the original monotheistic religion Zoroastrian. As well. There's only 200,000 followers these days. It's disappearing quickly and I feel we have an obligation uh, to get this message 
out to the world because it's life changing, it's world changing. If everybody grabbed their mind around these words, it would change the world. It would bring world peace. Um, because if you uh, know who your God is and he's all good, he doesn't war, he doesn't hate, he doesn't kill, and you model your life after that, well guess what? You don't have to lock your doors at night anymore. Uh, you don't have to worry about people stealing from you, hurting from you, cheating you because you're living that perfect model. The problem with most religion is their highest idea of God is, is a mixed God. That he does good sometimes, he does bad sometimes. And they have words for, oh, he's just being just, or he has to punish, or it, no. He is good all the time. He's always good. He's always love. Now let me teach you something. Uh, two columns, I call it. In the right column, put all the attributes of God. Love, life, peace, joy, kindness, mercy. You know all the good instinctively. And then in the left column, put the evil spirit's attributes. Hate, murder, pride, jealousy. You know evil instinctively. You know inside, uh, without anyone ever having to tell you, that slavery is bad and freedom is good. It takes about one minute in slavery to have uh, a, a need inside of you to be free. It's instinctive in all of us. And so, I'm going to take you to Zoroastrian text. That good is good and bad is bad. The original word of the good religion is that all good comes from the Creator and that no evil comes from Him. From this original word is the spiritual world made straight and the material world brought into order. The original word of false religion is that evil comes from the Creator. And this false idea is all the evil creatures suffer. I want to explain to you that God is all Good. No matter what stories you've heard, what ideas you've had, what someone that said they represent God has told you that is different from that. That's the original word uh, of Zarathustra, that God is all good and no evil comes from him. Now, over time, as religions started to spring out of that original idea, they started having other ideas like a warring God and a God that judges. And they used it for control of the people and but what they don't realize is when you let the people be completely in God in good and who he really is they will emulate that and it'll change the world uh, I'm reading out of Asha uh, that's the Zoroastrian name for truth and uh, as they say the truth will set you free and I love this passage here there's nothing for me outside. I have spent too long looking outside myself, looking for meaning, purpose, affirmation, approval, love, truth, happiness, and God, just to find myself ever searching. So I quiet all the many thoughts, ideas, and stories. I go inside, and there I see Soshans, Jesus, and I realize there's no separation from my God. We are one. The truth and happiness I was looking for, it is here now. I am that. I am, and now that you know this, it is, good is, and God is. I'm going to teach you a little something to leave you with, and it's it'll change your life. And I don't know if you know this, but uh, the Magi, they were the Zoroastrian priest, and the word magic uh, originated from Magi. And um, it says, think of this as a prayer, if you will, or a mantra. And the idea behind it uh, is that what you hold in your mind, what you truly believe, is what manifests into your world. So I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. If you want a good life, if you want a, that magic, that miracle, that the next day you wake up and you believe it and your life is good, you live in health. I want you to picture yourself as God's energy in you. And if God is in you, God can't get sick. If your energy and God's energy are the same, then your energy cannot get sick. You live in God. God lives in you. I want you to wrap your mind around it. I want you to picture sickness and disease dying when it touches you. It better find somewhere else to live because it will not thrive in this body. I want you to picture that God is life and that life is in you and death cannot live in life. And I want you to start wrapping your mind around the attributes of God and the good and live in that and be that and never accept a mixed God. You don't like accept a lie because then your, your, uh, your life, your world will be an illusion. It will be built on a lie. Come into truth. I guarantee you, you will see heaven on earth. 
I live it every day. People come and all the time and visit with us and we sit down and talk. We'll talk for five, six hours sometimes and they want to move in with us. But you can live this life anywhere. It don't matter if you're in town, at the beach, or up in the mountains like I am. I love the woods. I don't want to ever come out of them. Uh, but you can have this life by being in God, God in you, wherever you are. If you, Wherever you are, you are blessed. You are abundant. You are healthy. You are strong. You are powerful. You are free. And so I want you to just take away with this. I want you to meditate on this. If you don't meditate, you need to start. What you hold in your mind will show up in your world. I want you to know I live in God. God is good. God is omnipresent. That means my good is omnipresent. My God is here now. My good is here now. I love you guys. I'll see you on part two. God bless.